Evening Juice here again with another Photoshop tip for you and this one's a real quickie, a very very quick and simple way to show you how you can get a very soft glow to your pictures. Now if you look at the one we've got in front of us this is how it looks without the glow applied and maybe three or four very quick simple steps later we can go from that to where the glow is like it is there. Very, very quick indeed. Now before we go into it, just want to quickly say that I'm going to take no credit for this tip whatsoever, believe it or not. It's a tip that I learned from Calvin Hollywood. So if you haven't seen his stuff or looked at his blog, I really do recommend that you do that. And I'll leave the details at the end of the video. So getting onto the tip then, how do we do it? Well first of all, let's just get rid of that there. Okay, so let's say now we're in Photoshop. We've got our picture open, we've got our single background layer. The first thing we need to do is duplicate that background layer, as we always do when we're doing any kind of editing. And we can do that by pressing Command or Control J on our keyboards, or if you prefer, just clicking on, on the background layer and just dragging it over the new layer icon and letting go, and that will give us a copy there. With that background copy layer, we'll rename that to uh, Soft Light, because that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to change the blend mode of that layer to Soft Light, which darkens it down quite a lot. But having done that, the next thing we're going to do is first of all apply a blur to it. And we're going to go to the Gaussian blur or Gaussian blur. And with a high resolution picture like this one is, a radius of around about 40 pixels will be perfectly fine. And we'll just click OK on that. OK, the next stage, we're now going to duplicate this soft light layer. And again, we can do that by pressing Command or Control J on our keyboards. Or by clicking on it and dragging it and releasing over the new layer icon. And on that soft light copy layer, we're going to rename that one now to screen because we're going to change the blend mode of it to screen, like so. And that lightens everything up. Now, that is basically the effect. So, all we need to do now is dial in what kind of strength, sorry, what kind of strength we want the effect to be on each of these layers. So, let's look at the screen one. We've got the opacity or the opacity on the top of the layers panel here, and we can bring that down. So, I'm going to bring that down to somewhere around about. Oh, I don't know, something like, we'll, we'll go for 45, 46, something like that. And let's have a look at the soft light layer. And uh, we'll just click on that one once and we can change the opacity of that one as well, the opacity. We can take it down to zero or we can bring it up to 100%. So I'm going to bring that down to around about 85, something like that. Now, the next thing we can do is we need to put both this screen and soft light layers into their own group. And we can do that by making sure that one of them is active, like the soft one light is here because it's blue holding down our shift key and then clicking on the other layer so they're both blue. Now if we press command or control G on our keyboards, that'll put both of those layers into a group and we can see them just in here now. What that now allows us to do is to control the overall strength of the actual effect that we've just applied by lowering the opacity of that group. So we can go from zero up to 100. And I'm going to dial in somewhere around about probably around about the 84, 85% mark could be something just spot on, I think, there. So that is the effect. It's as quick as that. Maybe three or four very, very quick and simple steps. And I can see now we've got the, the glow applied on the picture there. And if I turn the layer off, we can see it without it. So that's without, and that's with, without, and with. So there you go. How to apply a very simple but very effective soft glow to your pictures in maybe three or four simple steps. This has been Glenn Jewis, and I'll see you next time.